But you don't cut your yard so the bees can live. Because if you cut your grass, the bees die, apparently. And no mome allows you to preserve and protect pollinators during this crucial spring period. For me, it's an excuse to be efficient. My mom says lazy. I'm working with efficient. Um, but I don't cut the grass. So you have now an excuse to forget about it for the entire month of May. Uh, we're grabbing some bucket fills and got some fun stuff to go on there. But I do want to start out, we talk about bucket fills, we talk about thank you. I want to thank everybody for their participation in Red Day. What an amazing event. What an amazing thing to have everybody there participating in uh, Red Day and how that worked and grabbing those bucket fills. Thank you. Um, and I mean, when you think about all of us that came together, I can't remember, and, and maybe somebody from the, the committee can remind me exactly how many agents were there. Do we know? 50, 50, 60, I, think, I think 48. 48 people. And with that, amount, we'll say 55, because we didn't count everybody. I mean, there were other people there. And, it could have been 90 for all we know, but we'll say 175. 55 sounds good. How many houses did we go to collectively? Nine. Nine homes and one super excited waitress. Uh, you know, we're all part of the deal that we were able to participate and bring, bring some joy to. Um, and if you didn't know or weren't familiar with it, we went to nine different houses. We did yard work to kind of get them ready for the spring. Uh, and they were uh, veterans, <coughs> Yellow Ribbon, and darts, which is uh, some elderly folks who might not be able to normally attend to that stuff. So it was a fantastic opportunity for us to go out and, and do that. And I want to thank everybody here who participated in that and just say what a wonderful thing we have and a great way to celebrate that. As part of that, um, it turns out that we might have had a... Uh, uh, mishap with our filming. So Blake is supposed to be here today and we'll be doing a little thing later when he gets here to record some voices because some audio didn't go through so we're just going to record the team saying uh, a couple phrases so we can put that back in. Um, if you wouldn't mind telling me what that person is thankful for, that would be awesome. Thankful for sunshine. Sunshine? I don't know if they were outside today but it's a good idea. How about you Matt? I'm grateful for our broker. Yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. She's pretty nice. Oh, like Red day. Red day. There we go. <laughs> and Tom. Um, ditto. KW Red Day. So awesome. Yeah. You know, it, it, I will say the one thing that sometimes gets lost in our own mind because we do things repeatedly is the magic of the first time. And it was a first time for me as well. And what a great, great thing to be part of. Um, and it was the first time, more importantly, for everyone that we helped. And for them, that, that is an impact that they will likely never forget. So again, thank you for doing that and being participating in that, in that great activity. Spirit Award. I've got my friend John Hoffmeister, last week's last win winner of the Spirit Award, here to deliver the Spirit Award. Who is the lucky? Who's the lucky person? <coughs> Great question. I'm not sure yet, but we're going to find out. You're going to find out, and I'm not going to tell you right away. <laughs> <laughs> so this person I've known for a long time, um, way before Keller, because I've been with Keller for five and a half-ish years, 68. So super fun person, uh, very giving, always willing to share, always got an ear, always wanted to help. And he's really trendy and cool, and it's Steve Rolf. 
<laughs> Wait a minute, let me get my hat. <laughs> I don't have time, Steve. <laughs> We got time. Well, tell us about this bolt picture. So this was the bolt diggers. This was when I was with a different broker, and it was a really fun experience. Olivia was there this time. This was a long time ago. Yeah. This was like about ten years ago. Did you have long hair then? Um, no, I didn't have long hair at all. No. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> He knows about everything about real estate, and he's willing to share any bit of information. If he doesn't have it, he'll dig it up and find it. So he, he's the real deal. Oh, and he's cool too. So thank you, Steve. Nice. We have some new Love folks it. to welcome. Uh, Danielle Becker, uh, new PC agent. Uh, Mary Deschamps is joining the Lake team. And one more other new person, Nicole Booth. <coughs> I saw, but don't see now. So she's around the corner working hard, which is awesome. So if you see Nicole, she's joined the Hoagland group. And uh, if you have any, you can talk to her and say hello. I'm sure she'd appreciate it. Excellent. Happy anniversary to a lot of folks. Uh, Adija, Susan, Melissa, Cody, Merrick, Michelle, Jason, Corey, Wendy, Kurt. Kurt? Really? She's been licensed really? two years. Scotty, I love it. Uh, <laughs> and Tasha. So, welcome aboard and happy anniversary to all of you folks. Um, I'll do the tech update today. Um, I'm gonna do it really close up, but <laughs> I've seen that guy only in my rear view mirror, right? Because he's closer than he appears. Um, <laughs> KWPR-dashboard.com. You may have heard me say it. You may have heard me talk about it. You may have heard me mention it. You may hear me mention it again today. But I wanted to point out some things that you could do that would help you. Like you type this here, and it comes up with all of these great tools. And some of these tools are quick links to things like our Facebook channel or the logos you might need, even a command link if you want to go to command directly from KW dashboard. In addition to that, there's a list of great resources like real estate websites, including North Star MLS and other great things like all of our Zoom channel, our Zoom channel and links, our YouTube channel is all linked right there, books from uh, Keller Williams and so on as well as the calendar. Hey, what's going on in the office? If I go there, I can find the calendar. If you were to actually take your mouse and click on one of these things, it will give you the option to add it to your own calendar, which will make your life a lot easier. Or if you were super excited and as engaged and as crazy as I am, you might click on this one and it adds the whole calendar to your calendar. <laughs> Every single thing goes right on there. <laughs> so this morning you got up and said, man, I'm going to go to that meeting, but next time I might not make it. So I want to know where the Zoom links are. They're all right here on KWPR dashboard. PC group, if you're in the PC group and going to PC class, it's right there. Tech classes on Thursday, when I have them, that's where you'll find that link in every <laughs> other class, every other thing we do right here, all other classes. And down at the bottom, preferred vendors, including a link to home warranty with my buddy Peter Jackson back there, who's going to be talking to us later today. So you can find all of that on kwpr-dashboard.com. I always look forward to seeing which picture he takes off. <laughs> now, you all know conjunction, junction, right? Conjunction, junction, what's your function? But we've got commission submission with precision. Oh, I was having a rough day that day. And that's the day he chose to take my picture for the day. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you're welcome, it. man. I like, I like to know that you're here and we're together. <laughs> so, we're all uh, part of this mission together, my friend. So one of the things that uh, we like to do uh, it's part of the leadership is to have a good grasp on where the brokerage is going, uh, how we're performing, how we're expected to perform in the coming weeks. And one of the biggest tools we use for that is a projected closings report. Now, that will show everybody who's got closings coming up as long as you put in a commission request. If you don't, we don't know you have a, cl a closing coming up and it doesn't show up on a report. Well, it's kind of nice to be surprised sometimes. Uh, we'd rather have a solid number every time. So if you could, as soon as you get an accepted offer, please submit your commission request and then I'll go on that report. Jason, do you have a question? When do I do that? 
right after you get an accepted offer. So like they offer, I offer, they say yes. Bingo. That's win. <laughs> now, is that new? Um, well, yes and no. Uh, when I first started here, uh, somebody had passed around that, hey, wait until you're just about ready to close to submit it in case you have any changes and whatnot. And I actually appreciated that when I first started because I didn't know how to change a lot of this stuff. I do now. So if you submit your commission request and then something changes, price change or some concessions or anything, just let me know and I can change it and we'll move on. So if you can do it as soon as you get an offer accepted, I would really appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, but I still get paid if I do it then? No. Oh, my okay. <laughs> God. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, that's even confusing. <laughs> All right, everybody's favorite time. And I got, I, I'm pretty sure I got this on the right month, so I don't, uh, you know, you don't have to tell me what happened six years ago today. Um, but I think we've got the right ones up here. Uh, the coming soons and withhelds. And. Kelly. Yes. You're the only one here with one on there. Well, on what? Okay. I put five on there. Are you on? <laughs> you mean with, like, with, with help? Yeah. Oh. Is that good or bad? You're a rock you star. Right me here. No, I'm saying tell me about your okay. thing. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I have a listing that is withheld right now. It is in Farmington over just on the other, on the east side of Highway 3, um, back like behind, if you're, if you're familiar with Farmington, mm -hmm. behind the hardware store. Um, 1084 Pine Street. It's a three bed, two bath, two car um end unit it's got a no one is behind well i mean there's there's people behind it but it's not like there's another unit on the back of it it's a side by side they've got a nice maintenance free deck on the back it's kind of a cool um floor plan you go up a few you know up like six stairs or whatever to the master bedroom and then you go up another maybe three or four stairs from there and then there's two really good size um other bedrooms so um great place um low um hoa will be available probably middle to end of June, but they are open to showings before that if you're interested. Rentals allowed? Rentals are allowed after you haven't lived there for, I think, two years is what, okay. is what I found out. Uh, All right, I mean, um, Melissa and I have three withhelds. Can we talk about Excellent. it? Excellent, you bet. Okay, so I just think it upon a time. So we have a town home in Apple Valley, um, 1,320 square feet built in 2002. Um, the price will be 245,000. Then we have a new, a uh, two year old um, newly built home, I mean, two years ago on Berry's Ridge in Lakeville, which is you know, a really desirable community to live in. They're moving because of job relocation. The Rambler is finished on both levels. It's 2,676 square feet. The price is gonna be 659,900. Then we have a two-story in Maple Grove, um, built in 1996. Uh, the price range, she's still gonna nail it down like today, somewhere between 600 and 625,000. It's 3,181 square feet. And so those three are in the withheld status, and I'll get the details on there, like today. <laughs> Anybody else? Question on the townhouse in Apple Valley. Mm -hmm. How many beds and baths on that? Uh, oh, I think two uh, two beds, two baths. If you have an address by chance. Yes, I'm sorry about that. It's one five eight one six Fleet. Okay. Thank you. So you do give this in an email, and it, and um, it always is helpful to your fellow Why agents. You Sarah can't speak. <laughs> Go ahead. I have a, a co-op listing. Blake will be next. Uh, co-op listing, little two bed, two bath in Egan, um, coming on at one sixty five. It's dated but very cute. Um, yeah, I have. It's withheld right now. We're going live tomorrow. It's a. Is it a oh, terrible. Go ahead, though. Uh, five oh, bed, five bed, okay. three car garage, huge outbuilding, 60 by 90 shed. Um, I've done 4.96 acres, we'll be going on at 1.2. Webster. Um, 
And on the other end of the scale, I have one going live on Friday for $95,000. <laughs> condo here in Burnsville, one bed, one bath. Yep. Um, with a garage stall, rentable. Uh, on Nick what? Yep. 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 You said 95? 95. One bedroom? Correct. Okay. Excellent. Anybody else? I'll run down mine real fast because I've got two coming soon for June 3rd. One is a single family home in Highland Park, about 1,900 square feet, two bedrooms, two bathrooms. And we're looking at about 410 on that one. We've got a single family home in Fridley going active also on the 3rd. That one is going to be 360, four bedrooms, two bathrooms, on almost a half an acre lot looking at Mortar Lake. A townhome with no HOA twin home coming. That will be the 15th of June. And then it's getting a Woodbury detached townhouse, 409 on that, 2,500 square feet, four bed, three bath. And I'm forgetting one. Oh, actually, a family home coming. That will be at the end of June if anyone's interested, four bedroom, two bedroom. So obviously our goal is to see if we can get our buyers who can't find houses to look up all this stuff. And the more we can put on here when this email comes out, the easier it is for you to make sure that you can get your buyers to see those properties if we can, because that's the goal. Hey, uh, and if we have some issues with that, let's talk with the front desk after the meeting. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to ask, is there like, because I've done it before too, and they have, is there a way you're supposed to save them? Because if I know Christina put hers in and I've done it before and they haven't popped up, is there something that we're missing or it's just... Mm -hmm. Should be alive. Oh, yeah, that's what I was assuming too. Well, and I don't know. Are, are, make sure. Are, are you in Google? You looked at because if you if you go in to enter them and you're in the wrong week, then it won't show up here. So make sure you're, when if we're entering our own in there, what I'm saying is make sure you're entering it in the current. Oh yeah, yeah, it was because all the chats were there when I was entering mine. Yeah. Okay. Um. Once again, let's discuss. Christina, I see yours on uh, May second. Uh, May second. Oh, there you go. I have lunch then too. But I mean, we can flip over to May second. That's okay. I just sure, write down. You just said, "I'll just pick that." Okay. She's like the Aaron Brockovich. <laughs> hey, that's the good news. This is how we learn. We get better. We figure these things yeah. out because in the end. This is valuable information for our clients. We want to make sure that we figure it out and get it taken care of. So thank you. Uh, if you got any high-end flippers, uh, there's a withheld right now in a nice area of Highland Park. Uh, we're starting at 800,000. It's about a 4,200 square foot Rambler. Um, same family's been in the house for 52 years. Uh, so there's definitely some updates needed. Um, get more information to come. All right. So what's coming up? Buyer Boot Camp on Saturday, our favorite. Uh, we thank you for the, being the broker this morning. And she'll be talking on Saturday at 10 a.m. Talking about the listing or the paperwork for a buyer on Saturday morning. So if you're not sure how to fill it out, that's a great time. If you need a refresher, great time. 10 a.m. Saturday morning. Yes, it's on Zoom. Wealth Building Wednesday is today, and my favorite column will be telling us all about how to build some wealth and make trees come out of coins. Which I'm not sure he knew who's going to have to talk about, but by the end of the day, I'm sure I'll have something in there for us. Other way around, coins come out of the trees. <laughs> That's, I knew it was something like that. All right, there we go. Our good friend Chad is going to be hosting a class next week. Um, at 1 p.m. talking about measuring listings. He's done this class several times before and gotten great reviews, so I'm excited to have him come and talk about that. Um, I promise when he comes, he'll be more interesting looking than my friend, uh, but he will bring a ruler, so that's exciting as well. Um, and Victoria's passing out a uh, sheet. Um, we'll be doing headshots on Saturday and Sunday, um, and they lowered the price. If you don't have a headshot, please sign up, get a headshot, it's important, it's useful. Put it on your business cards, put it on your websites, all the kinds of things you have. That's a great way to get it set up. Yay! And finally, I will be having uh, or hosting some informational meetings about the RISE program. We have uh, a number of different uh, programs that we're offering here within the uh, Market Center. 
Rise is one of the new ones that we're offering, and it's a way for you to get leads through the Market Center. Um, we'll be having an informational meeting on Wednesday, Thursday, uh, and the two on Thursday are at 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. and Wednesday at 10 a.m. I'll be hosting them all, so I'll have questions and I can answer questions for you um, about the program in general, and we'll discuss next steps if you're interested in getting involved. At this time, we are not, uh, you're welcome to come and learn about it, but we won't be taking any PC agents into the program at this time, but you are welcome to come and learn about it for the future. With that in mind, my good friend Jess is going to ask some, answer some simple questions. Some simple questions. Some simple questions, like what's my case score? I have what's a case, my score. case score. What is my case score? What, do you guys know what your case score is? Yep. What's your case score? This is super funny. So I was like, what is my case score? So case score, this is Keller Williams School of Real Estate. So what that means is it's a program that Keller Williams put together to offer free education, free to the, the consumer. Um, and that is what we call it. So when we say we have a case score meeting, that's what we're talking about. Um, so how do you increase your case score? Send people to you. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Because uh, what happens if you have a good case score person come in? What do you get? Profit share. Profit share, right? So um, it's another way to have passive income. Uh, and the thing is, is that you bring them in, they do a couple of different things. And then by the time they're finished, they come and they onboard with Victoria. They come into PC and then they hit the ground running. So does anybody have questions or not understand what case score is? Jason. Can I be in case score? You can. Well, how would I use it? I'm already an agent. Well, do you want to be licensed in Wisconsin? I would, because then if I went to kwpr-dashboard.com and looked up the <laughs> list of available Wisconsin agents, I would be among them. You would. That would be awesome. So maybe some of you saw on Facebook that you too could be licensed in Wisconsin. If you're interested, you send me a text or you comment on that, and we will get you the information on how you do that. So it's just Wisconsin right now? Order. You can, I can, be you, can see. you can go anywhere. The the yeah, thing is, um, you have to go with the case score. You have to figure out what office you want to be affiliated with. Our office is affiliated with Wisconsin through John Rohan. Okay. He's our Wisconsin broker. Okay. So we don't have a Florida broker, right? So <laughs> what you would do is you'd figure out what office do you want to be affiliated with in Florida, and then we would have you go through that process through their. Uh, Pay score through them. Okay. Yep. So, and on that uh, link or whatever for Wisconsin, um, that's not a state listed, just Minnesota and New York. So, we have to create an account through Kaplan first, and then we'll have the option of choosing Wisconsin, is the way I understand it. Um, if that's what it told you, yes. <laughs> that's what your assistant told you today. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a little bit different because um, Minnesota's rules are completely separate from Wisconsin's. And um, yeah, so yep. any other questions? Cool. Do you have any other questions? Score. Score. Okay, score. <laughs> awesome. Rose, now I've got my friend and she can barely talk, but I, I promise you I'll be helping her out today. Um, yeah, you can score me. I, uh, what are we talking about today, Sarah? This guy. No. no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this guy? <laughs> this guy's name has come up a couple times though. Um, I so I've been out <laughs> and um I I'm gonna do a stump the coach and or oh, you're stumping guy the way. today. So bring questions. Um the market's the market's interesting right now, and so show up, bring your questions, and let's just like cash it out together. Um, see if you can stump us. That's my goal. And then um, I'm, I'm working on possibly getting a guest speaker to come in next week um, so you can hear some other voices. Cool. Sure. Thank you, Sarah. See you yeah. at 2. 2, two p.m. today. That's after Wealth Building Wednesday, where the coins come from the trees, not the trees from the coins. <laughs> I've got my good friend Peter Jackson. He tell us a little bit about Home Warranty Inc. and how that can help us and our clients. Come on down, Peter. Peter was at Red Day. I, he was at Red Day, so thank you, Peter. Oh, 
when they told me, I have to admit, I was a little confused. I thought he was a, a well-known director, um, but this is better. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I consider blue day. Right. Just throwing it out there. Right. I only have blue shirts, so. <laughs> um, okay. I've got a few minutes here. I'm going to ask people to kind of uh, hand some stuff out so everybody gets one of everything. Hand stuff on each side. And thank you. All right, Peter Jackson, I'm with Home Warranty Inc. We're based out of Rock Rapids, Iowa. Big notes of recognition there? Yeah. Okay. I'd be surprised. You have to kind of want to go there to get there. <laughs> I myself am out of Apple Valley. I've been in home warranty industry for um, eight years. You may want to think about your, um, they talked about headshots there. They want to think about updating headshots. I haven't, you can see. <laughs> That's pre-COVID. Everything I'm handing out has my name and number all over it. That's pre-COVID. This is my COVID hobby going on. <laughs> I will tell you, short, I think interesting story on it. When COVID hit two years ago, my dad was 92 in assisted living. And his biggest issue every Saturday at our window visit was, they won't let anybody cut my hair. And I said, you know, all the barber shops, everything's closed anyway. I said, Dad, I won't cut mine because you can cut yours. Yeah. That seemed to be okay with them, except every Saturday, he's like this going, they won't let anybody cut my hair. Okay. 92, they get a bone, that's what they kind of keep chewing on. <laughs> Finally, late August, early September, they let people into the assisted living, get his hair cut. The very first Saturday, we walk up and he's like this, big smile on his face, got it cut. Looks at me and says, what's with the long hair? <laughs> Where's mom when I need her? <laughs> so I just said, you know what? I'm just gonna have fun with it, keep going. Um, so let me grab this here real quick. To make sure I highlight a few things. I know I've only got a few minutes, so usually in these, I start talking and I'm like throwing all kinds of information at you. Instead, I'd like to ask you a question. If you were looking to hire a home warranty to be a member of your team, what questions would you ask? Yes. How long do you cover? What do you do to cover the furnace? like for coverage, because a lot of times they cover hardly anything for the furnace. Great question. We actually have a plan. If you put, if you get the HVAC inspected, here's a form we use. It's the same stuff that the um, HVAC companies are looking at right now. If they get the heating and air inspected, when it passes, we're the only one in the industry. We'll give the seller coverage for free, and that goes with it to the buyer. Guaranteed, no pre existing issues. How do you do that in the winter? Another great question. No, you cannot turn the AC on in the wintertime, but there can be a visual check of the unit and a pressure check outside to see that there aren't any holes in the system in the outside. Whatever can gets tested, gets tested. If that passes, we will give the written guarantee. So now your buyers don't have that concern when they buy in January and turn it on last week when it got real warm and say, first time the air doesn't work. <clears throat> No pre existing issue because they had it inspected. What causes it to fail? Like, there are some things that may fail it. Uh, leaks. Leaks in the outside system. Yeah. Just 
age, rust. Yeah, I'm yeah. saying like that you guys were fell in, like you fell in that. Oh, why we wouldn't? It's well, been 15 years is old. No, yeah. age does not matter. Yeah, I'm saying what? With us, age does is not a concern. <clears throat> it doesn't look right and work right on any mechanical appliance. To clarify, is it your company that's doing the inspection, the pre-inspection, or is it, could it be any other inspector? Any HVAC any company. Kind of, you know, we get pre-inspect or get an inspection done sometimes at the, the... Yep, any HVAC company can do the inspection. Doesn't matter, we don't have our own inspection people or service techs, we have, um, a network of service people, but the homeowner always gets to pick whomever they want, can use local, that we don't, so there, we don't have a service person specifically. We've got a network of people, but the homeowner always gets to choose. So on that, any HVAC person can look at it. So you not get it pre-inspected and still get the coverage? You mean a regular home inspection? Yeah, no, just the HVAC. Just yes. Yeah. You can get the coverage without an inspection, without the HVAC inspection. I'm just saying with that HVAC heating and air inspection, you can then get a written guarantee for them. There won't be any pre-existing issue because right now somebody buys in January, doesn't get it, the AC looked at, turns it on in May when it gets warm. If it doesn't work the first time, it's a pre-existing issue because it never worked for the buyer. This way, you can absolutely eliminate that. So the coverage doesn't cover it if it's pre-existing? If it was pre-existing, no. Oh. Okay. Now, regular home inspections, those aren't done nearly as often as they used to be, right? It just it's a fact of the market against realtor advice, but people are putting in offers without home inspections. It might be even more important for a buyer to think about getting a home warranty because just because they didn't have it inspected. Doesn't mean the buyers not having issues after the fact the national average is 1.6 service calls per home buyer in their first year. I myself, I bought a townhouse four years ago in Apple Valley, no issues that first year. That just tells me somebody else had three problems to make the math work. <laughs> well, since then I've made up for it. <laughs> Fortunately, I have a home warranty on my place. Not only do I believe in them and I'm in the industry, but I kind of feel like, hey, if I do this, I better put one on me, be like you guys doing a for sale by owner, <laughs> you know doesn't make sense. So um, regular home inspections, though, if you do have one, send a copy of that in when you put the warranty order in. And we will add undetected pre existing conditions coverage for free. And that to me is huge. Because what that says is does it look right and work right when they move in? If they have an issue three months down the road and the service tech says, here's the problem and it started six months ago, it's still going to have coverage because it's an undetected pre-existing. What do you have to do to undetect it? One, visual. Does it look right? You walk in and the door to the microwave is kind of hanging funny. You say, that's not going to close up right. It doesn't pass a visual. The second simple test, mechanical. Turn it on and off. Does it run? Did you run the dishwasher? Did, when you look at the stove or the fridge, you open it up, it's cold inside. You'd be surprised. Some of the calls claim stuff that come in and someone with a refrigerator issue, day they're moving in, and when asked, what did the fridge, what was it like when you looked at the house, when you did your walk through the day of closing, what's going on? I don't know, it was never plugged in. You go, you know, meet me halfway. <laughs> um, as I said, my name and number is all over. I invite your questions. I invite your quick, you know, home buyers, sellers, talk with them. Love talking with them, especially before the sale. Any question that gets answered there eliminates a lot of issues on the back end for all of us. 
My um, maybe best compliment I think I've gotten, I was at a state convention, realtor walks by and his friend says, how come you use Peter? And he said, he answers his phone. So I try and have my phone with me. But I'm not able to answer it like I'm in a meeting here. Get back to you right away. The sooner I take it off of your plate, the better for all of us. I don't guarantee that your homeowner gets the answer they want every time. I guarantee they get the answer. Last thing before I leave, invite you to contact me. Would love to come back, meet with you individually as a team, have coffee, whatever's convenient for you, just to get you a little more familiar. I don't expect you to be warranty experts. It's hard enough for me to pretend to be. But you need to know whomever you're working with. I know that if you, you have mortgage people that you work with, you know who they are. And when you have a question, you know who to call. When you've got warranty stuff, I want you to say, don't worry, I've got a guy, I've got Peter. If in this day and age, you're paying for the warranty, maybe as a closing gift, maybe a couple agents going together with it, we've got a special certificate that we make up for you, which has your information on there, shows the buyer who's gifting this to them, and maybe more important, on the back, gives them information on filing a claim. And again, it's got my name and number and my own page. <laughs> so, thank you very much. Appreciate your time. I will hang around after here, but um, again, anytime, anywhere, questions, we'd love to answer. Excellent. Thank you, Peter. And Peter's at lunch today, so we have to thank you. My friend Blake is going to come up and we're going to record some words. No. Words. Yeah. Words. So, Say the words. Say ahead. the words loud. Say the words proud. Have fun with them. We'll see you in a few minutes. Uh, so, yeah, I filmed that video for Red Day. The drone shot that we got of everybody. I don't know what, I don't know if it was like because of the, the wire of the mic on my camera or something, but the audio really didn't turn out. The shot itself had a couple things in it where I was like, okay, I don't know what that person was doing. But <laughs> so we're just gonna try and record the same thing. I'm gonna try and put it over, but honestly that shot just kinda was a little bit of a thing. So um, the video itself, though, turned out really good. I'm almost done with it. I'm actually going to record a little voiceover with Olivia after this. So we'll just try it. And if we can kind of, it was like, it would have been a really cool shot. So it's like we're going to try and put it together. But I'm just going to put this audio over the drone shot. And we'll see if it, if it works out. But um, so we'll say it, we'll say it three, we'll do it three different times. We'll just say uh, thank you for, we said thank you for your service. You for your service. service. So we'll say that and then we'll clap for like, you know, five, 10 seconds. We'll do that three times. Um, and then I'm just gonna do this, guys. <laughs> so <cool. laughs> um, okay, so we'll just do a three, two, one, and we'll just, we'll just, you know, pretend you're outside on a beautiful day and you just got done sweating and everything. Uh, <laughs> and we'll just say, thank you for your service, you know, just like we did. And we'll go three, two, one. Thank, Thank you for your service! Right, let's do it again. Three, two, one. Thank, Thank you for your service! And then we'll just do it one more time. Three, two, one. Thank you for your service! Okay, all right. Do you also want the We Love Red Day? Because do you want to do that? that? It's up to you, but Let's I didn't do. know if you want to. We'll do that. that, yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Uh, we'll do We Love Red Day. Three. Are we clapping? Two, yes. One. We Love Red Day! We'll do that one more time. If you guys sounded, it's unbelievable. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. We are ready! Okay. 
Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Blake. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. All right. So a lot of times we finish up the meeting with a, with a guest speaker or something like that, but we thought today might be a great time to introduce the leadership team and talk about some of the roles we have because there's been a lot of questions about that. So I'm going to invite all my fellow leadership team members up here. You might know them as Olivia, uh, Matt, Melissa. We've got Jessica, Sarah. Um, Grace is busy manning the front uh, as the director of first impression. She's not going to be able to join us because that is exactly when everyone will come into the front. Uh, Victoria and myself. Um, we'll start with Matt because he's down at the end. Matt, if you want to say a few words, and then once we get through what they what they think their job is, what I'd really like to have happen is y'all to ask some questions like, "Hey, if I need uh, ice cream cones for a particular event, who do I go see?" No. <laughs> so, Matt, if you don't mind, no, I mind. I, I do mine. So. Well, good. Then you're going to start. I'm the uh, Mark Center Administrator. I basically handle everything financial here. Um, process your commissions. Hopefully don't screw them up. Um, I'm getting better, guys. I am. Um, but uh, I do that. Uh, make sure the bills are paid. Make sure the lights are still on. Um, and if you need any forms for your taxes or anything at the tax time, just come to me. I, I have access to all those things, too. Uh, but again, it's basically just everything financial is what I handle. Sarah. Sarah Anderson, I'm the growth coach. Um, I do a group coaching session Wednesdays at 2. Um, we really just focus on taking your real estate business to the next level. Excellent. Um, we'll skip that one in the middle and then go to Olivia. Yeah. Do we have to skip it? The oh. team leader? Well, we could talk about what the team leader does. Yeah. And if you don't so, mind speaking for the team is, leader. This is going to be my new, our new team leader. Um, and I have a verbal uh, from a candidate, which is exactly why I'm using this cup. It says best day ever. Uh, he has told one person, one key person at his company, and he has two more conversations to have, which is why I'm not going to tell you who. Please know this person has 11 years of experience in real estate and a recruiting background, a sales background, and he's dynamite. Your ALC uh, is over the moon excited about him as well as your leadership team. So he will be right here. Nice. Uh, so team leader, what we are going to focus on with this person is growth, 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 growth. We want them to him to be able to stay super focused on recruiting and attracting cappers and mega agents to the office. He will also be coaching the agents that are in the top 20% of the uh, brokerage as well. Um, and if you have new agents, you send them to Jessica and Irene. And if you have questions about the training calendar, you're going to hear who to go to for that. We want to keep them extremely focused, him extremely focused so that we can get to 400 plus agents and a million plus in profit share yeah. in less than five years. And the only way to do that is to protect his time and close his door and receive those referrals once you trust him and once you get to know him, okay? So this is my new buddy, so-and-so. Um, <laughs> nice meeting you, so-and-so. <laughs> so um, as the operating principal, I cast the vision uh, for our goals through conversations that I have with all of you. And then I work closely with the team leader and the rest of the entire leadership team um, to reach those goals and the vision um, that we have all set. I'm also um, fairly good at uh, growing and building real estate teams. Um, and so if you have questions on uh, hiring an admin, hiring buyer agent, what should, what should some of those conversations and splits and interview questions and such look like, you can come to me for that. Um, and if you have questions about your real estate business as well, I can help you with that. Hey. Jessica. I'm Jessica Nearing. I am the productivity coach, and um, my role is to help agents that are new or transferred into the office that are under capping status. So if it's like up to five or six transactions. Um, and really the, the biggest thing is for me is um, getting like the case board that we talked about, getting that um, really up and running, and then also um, kind of a new thing that I'm taking on is reaching out to the agents that are at other brokerages 
and I talked about that a little bit uh, prior. So the goal with that is, um, you know, to show the value of a lot of the PC agents. I've asked for testimonials. Um, what is it that's important to you um, about being in productivity coaching, and why is that important for your success? Uh, because a lot of times, in especially when a market shifts like this. Uh, agents who don't have that support are not able to continue successfully with their business. So they start looking around and they, they're like, what, what am I doing, right? So um, that's a really important thing for us to be able to grow um, with to 400, right? Is having that opportunity to reach out to these agents as well um, at other brokerages. So that is um, one of the, the big uh, focuses that I have for this uh, coming year. Melissa Johnson. Mm -hmm. I am your broker, and some people think I'm the command police, but actually, <laughs> I like to think of myself as your big sister. I want you to know how much I care about you and how hard that I know you guys are working out there in a really tr tricky and challenging market, and I'm here to help you make sure that your files are compliant when you're working quickly so that if something should arise in the future, we've done all of our paperwork accurately, correctly, thoroughly, so that nothing falls back on us as, as having done anything wrong or not being compliant. So when I send you those messages on command, Thank you for attending to them promptly and just reflect back on, you know, the day of my birthday where I had the big dance party with the ad symbol. <laughs> Always remember, please, to use the ad symbol in comments for me so that I see when you've made, ch made changes on your file. Um, people also run into tricky situations, things where you may have received a letter from an attorney, maybe you've received a letter from the Minnesota Association saying that you've had a code of ethics violation. Don't be afraid of me in those instances. Come directly to me because we need to work together on it through our errors and emissions insurance company to make sure that we're following the proper channels for that. Just looking at my notes to make sure that I don't forget anything. Oh, don't forget those code of ethics. We have 17 code of ethics. It's my responsibility to make sure that you're following it. And then also when it comes to um, things like the Department of Commerce and license renewals for your um, real estate license, which is coming up here at the end of June, um, Victoria and I work together. Come to me, I'm here to help you. My friend Victoria, uh, or actually, are you my friend, uh, the front counter right I'm now? I'm Grace right now. Okay, hey Grace, <laughs> thanks for coming. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I wanted to mention why we're even doing this. This all started because an agent sent me an email and we were chatting about something and then she said, I don't even know what you people do. And I'm like, okay, we need to let our agents know what we do and how we're here to help you because that's what this is about. We wouldn't be here if it were not for you, right? So I replied in an email, I've been telling Olivia about it. She said, we need to tell the rest of the market center about this. So that's why we're here. Grace wanted to come and talk to you. However, when I interviewed Grace, I said, what's the number one thing, what's the most important thing at the front desk? And she, I don't know, I won't even say what she said. It was wrong. <laughs> and I said, the number one thing is agent listings, agent settlement and checks. And so she's not here right now because she has six new listings to enter and a whole bunch of checks to process <laughs> to get to MAB so you can get paid. So we're very agent centered, right? Um, so she does take care of those altas and settlement checks, getting those uploaded to command, getting them to Matt. Um, new listings or changes on your listings, if you have a status change or something like that, please communicate with her on that. Um, she also does like a million other things, right? She takes care of the copiers if they go jamming or whatever. So if you are unsure who to talk to, that's a great place to start because she'll send you in the right direction. Um, as far as my job as director of operations oh, and Victoria. agent services, Good yes, to see you. Hi, Victoria. Um, director of operations is just making sure you have coffee, that um, there is paper towel, that there's a million things in the market center that are always running. Um, if there's a trouble with air conditioning, I'll take care of any of that for you, right? Um, but my passion, the thing I love the most, is the agent services part, and, and I'm getting better at it. You know, I'm still learning the job. But all I know is I want to help you. So if you have any questions on, uh, like if you have somebody you're going to onboard, you need them to talk to Jess and onboard with me. I'm here for onboarding new and transfer agents. We're getting better at that all the time. Um, 
working with Melissa on continuing ed and renewal licenses, and the front desk is also heavily involved in that. So if you get an email every week or twice a week on continuing ed, don't get mad and say, I just finished. Just understand we're just trying to make sure everything's updated properly so you don't have any snags when it comes to the license renewal. Um, I create the monthly training calendar, which is now gone digital. We don't print it anymore, although there is an option. If you do need a printed one, we can help you with that. Um, working with preferred vendors to sponsor, like Peter today, coming in to talk to you and providing lunch. Um, I have an, a couple of appointments this week with other preferred vendors too. Um, I also supervise the front desk. So here's my, my last thing. If you have any question and you absolutely don't know who to go to, come to either Grace or myself and we'll steer you in the right direction. My door is almost always open unless I'm really intently doing something, but my passion is to help you. So please never think you can't ask me. Okay. Ooh, Mr. Jason. Jason, I'm the director of technology and I'm gonna read these things off the paper. Um, <laughs> I, I do train the market center on, on anything to do with command. So that's a, a, a very basic uh, premise. Uh, additionally, I do tech assessments with the team leader uh, for new agents and folks coming on board and helping the recruiting process and help them understand that process as well. Uh, tier one tech support. I'm not a genius on everything, but typically if I don't know the answer, I can direct you to the people who will have it. Um, I do onboards for all of our new associates in any capacity. Um, and in addition to that, uh, I do review the vital signs uh, that we have and metrics that we have for where are areas of opportunity for us to do technology training. So some of those things might be, wow, I noticed Joe only has four contacts. Might need to talk to Joe because we're not working hard enough yet. So I look at all that stuff and try and figure out the best ways to do trainings and things like that. So if for another great example is if Matt's constantly having issues with uh, commission submissions, we talk about how to get that training out there to multiple people and how to do it while in command. So those are the things I do. You might also see me at the training meetings and the growth coachings and one-on-ones and things like that. All of that is available to you by appointment if you don't make it to the regular things and there are no hidden fees. <laughs> fees are up front. So with that in mind, my friend John, I'm going to lead off our questions. I got a question for Matt. So I had a purchase agreement just blow up and I have a cancellation. What do I do with that? <laughs> don't turn it. You don't turn it. You uh, give me the cancellation right away so I can get the earnest money or you find it. Please, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> my friend, Christina. So most of us in this room attend these meetings regularly. So we already know all this. Perhaps <laughs> there could be like a video of each of you, like a quick, like a quick like rundown, whether it's on the Facebook group or just something where they can click and connect, or whether it's like a four and a half minute video of like a 15 second segment of this is me, this is whatever, just Perfect. It's a great idea. Ultimately, once we're done with that, because somebody, oddly enough, somebody else said the same thing. So there's people in here who are on the same mindset. And you know, when you have two ideas, it's a good idea. Once we get that done, you'll be able to find those videos on. Not come. That's what I'm talking about, guys and gals. That's what I'm saying. We will put it there because we want one singular place where you can go and chase stuff down instead of having to go. And that singular place, if it isn't Victoria or the front desk, could be kwpr dash Even if I steer you to kwpr dash that's okay. Then we got you what you need. So if you're thinking to yourself, well, what happens if there's a problem with kwpr dash That's me. That was your question, and I answered it. Come to me. I'm that guy. Who else has got questions? Lisa, you look like you might have a question. What you've got a problem, who do you go to? What's your what's your challenge? I have a challenge. I'm going to the National League. Well, I'm going to Monique's got one in the back. I have a question. Um, so we had an event a couple weeks ago we did at the home show. And I'm wondering if we have any general um, materials that we can use. I know we used a like a tablecloth covering that's kind of Because Shane came to me and said, Do we have a tablecloth? Yes. And that's a really good question. Um, I don't know if we have other branded materials. The only other thing that we have is the, the photo backdrop. Yeah. Um, 
uh, other than like, you know, branded KWPR branded note cards, I don't know that we have a ton of open to what if there's things that you would use branded by the brokerage open to looking at those ultimately we want big picture want your brand on stuff but if there's other key items that you would want for home shows or what have you open to looking at getting those if you just tell us what what they are if i had those ideas who yeah. would i ask um victoria I have the <laughs> <laughs> anybody else questions answers anything like that Excellent. It is just about time for lunch, but I know that I'm going to speak for everybody and then let them speak individually about this. But I do want to say thank you. It is a challenging market out there. We know that you are out there doing amazing things for your clients. And we can't thank you enough because every time you are out there, you are not just representing yourself, you're representing all of us together collectively. And when you do a great job, we are all part of that. And that's why this culture here is so fantastic. And I'm proud to be in business with you every day. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. I have one thing. Boss please. lady. Um, Victoria has sent out multiple times the survey. Um, there's 60 of you or so that have taken it. There's 200 or so of you in this brokerage, a lot on Zoom, some that aren't here. Um, in order for us to get better and to provide value and, and the feedback that you just shared about this meeting, put it on a video. I mean, could you guys just take like four and a half minutes out of your day if you haven't already and take that survey and be honest. Team meetings are a waste of time. There's not good coffee, whatever it is, um, because we know that we're never, ever going to, to be able to please every single person on every single thing that we do. And of course, we want to strive to that. But if we don't hear from you and we only hear from 60 of you and there's 200 of you and then sometimes we hear things that are people aren't happy on and then they didn't take the survey it just it just be really helpful if you would take five minutes and take that survey we're going to close it out at the end of the week and i know we've said that we're going to close it several times but we'd like to see that number from 60 go up cool excellent thank well, you thank you all thank you very much i know from the from the again from the team thank you so much for this whole thing. Jason, I have just one. I apologize. I've just got three quick things in my little talk. I forgot to mention. I think real important. First, we've got free coverage for sellers. No cost, no strength. Even if we pay a claim while it's listed, they're under no obligation. I have a lot of brokerages. Every listing that goes in, they put the free coverage on. Secondly, hundred dollar discount if it comes in through you, the realtor. So our 575 price is now down to 475. Mm -hmm. Lastly, we've got our forms and now some of our marketing stuff in Spanish. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for lunch. Oh, no. Oh, no.
I stayed through the presentation, paid for our stuff, which, you know, she had an iPad, and I had to type, like, do it for two people. So I had to eat up some time. Then I walked around and looked at some pictures, and then talked to a couple people, but then I left, you know, because then I still had so much work to do with to get for today's appointment, because they kept going back and forth with information, so I couldn't complete it. And then, thankfully, last, I was like, you guys don't sound like something like you can't do one or not. You know, but it was nice to get home from time to do that. So, and I, these are good problems to have. So I, I am. Well, just so you know, because I figured out stuff is really the stuff you and I have. Our you know what? Maybe. Made. So maybe I do probably, have we have to spend like five or six days. Yeah. With this last payment that we just got sent, it only took two. It only took two sales for me to have with that. The better show up on that screen. But well, it's because we have high volume sales, right? And I I always put this into the buy chain of guns. My my product. Right? With what you're used to. Okay, but that's because of the transition. It's price you pay, so we don't want to change on that. So anyways, but this year, with all the sales that we have coming in that we know we have, and coming in the future, I've already So for me, it's just like such a sigh of relief if I'm all too <laughs> Oh, so thank you. That. Oh, that is such good news. <laughs> that is such good news. All right, well, good luck with your appointment. Yeah. And we will catch up soon, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, and then just give me as much information as you can for your stuff that I need to work on as far as the land as possible. Okay. Okay.
1984, the sun only shined the entire summer of 1984. There was not a single day that the sun did not shine. You are wrong. I lived it and I know it. 100% true. Sunshine the entire summer. And I think the irony of it is, is I'm not a Cummins fan. Well, I mean, that was their year. They made big playoffs. Big deal. In Chicago. How long did you been so not back in 84. No, that's why it's <laughs> 84 I was in. 84 I was probably, I think it was in seventh grade. I remember hustling, hustling home. From Mr. Blake's English class in sixth hour. Not you, Blake, Mr. Blake. Hustling, man, running the whole way back. Catch the end of that. Tough game. I'm really sad because you missed a summer where the sun shined every single day. What a ripoff. What's that? No, nobody ain't close to her.